So hello, um, today's video will be about um, exchanging the battery that is in this uh, multifunction tester, which I did a video on uh, about. Um, this is a very practical thing, which you can measure many components with, uh, but it comes with a slight um, weak battery. Um, and um, we're going to um, try to replace that battery. So the first thing we'll do is um, to open this thing here with the screws on the back. So first one out, we'll, I'll do the other ones. So now all the four screws are out of the back. Now we can open that thing and we see um, these side panels here, so this one doesn't go off, but the other side panel goes off immediately. And what we see here is that there is some kind of battery connected here, and it's an accumulator really. And we can read about it. It says it has 300 milliampere hours, and it has a voltage of 3.7 volts and i thought this one really is a little bit too small for my purposes because i have to recharge it very often and so for around uh, seven euros i bought also a 3.7 volt um accumulator and um, i kind of looked it up what what type it is so that's a lithium Yon battery, and so I bought this one. I carefully um, decided to uh, buy one that fits also in here so that we can easily replace it. And this one now here has um, 2000 milliampere hours, so it's about quite seven times not quite seven times uh, more capacity than um, this already built in and so what we'll try is first so it has this nice uh, connector here which is kind of not the same connector as we have on this one here but we'll I hope we'll manage to replace it and as you see um, this is just here the white thing it's just double-sided um, glue tape and we'll have to get this one off now. So let's try to detach this accumulator. So, so yes, we have it off. Now let's not make this straight out again so that we can then put the other battery on top of it. So our target will be then to kind of put this battery up here, but let's do this as a last step. Um, now first we'll have to unlock this uh, connector here and it doesn't go off easily. I kind of need to, um, as you see, it's kind of stuck in here and we have to clinch together these two um, these two white locking pins here. I'll try to do that with uh, with my pliers. So let's see if we can do that. I press them together. I press them, oops, I press them together. And then I want to have this thing come out. I feel like I already destroyed it. So let's see what we can do here. So um, I could get this thing out. I already damaged it a little bit. I think I'll manage. But the other thing is that this this socket here is not quite compatible with uh, this inlet here. So I think I'll go for another route. I think I'll just um, split the cables here and then I'll split the cables of this one also 
and then I'll just solder these cables together and make a new connection and then I'll um, and then we have the new battery the new accumulator connected to this old connector here so I think I'll go the brutal way wish me luck so the first thing we do is cut these thingies off here a little bit of space Zack, it is done no way back now and um, then we go with this 2000 milliampere hour battery also we take the path of no return Zack. yes and now we just have to make it a little bit of space for soldering the thing a little, little bit of free contact here yes now the other one yes and now we go we'll go for these two hopefully yeah i left enough space here to hopefully yes so this is done first the red one now let's go for the black one yeah it looks like we have enough potential solders now let's put away the old accumulator it looks like we have enough soldering space for the both of them so let's put up my soldering setup now so as you see i managed to um kind of drill and stick the two ends of the wires uh, into each other which gives me some amount of fixation here of the soldering setup and i'm using um, a half a millimeter um, soldering wire and um, so yeah let's hope that these will blend so um, we're using the tip of the soldering iron Get some solder onto it mm -hmm. and then we're going to try to warm up the junction put some even some more solder onto the junction which looks looks quite well could have worked already let's do this with the other end Seems like it is sucking up the solder quite well. Okay, looks like a good solder joint. Let's not overdo it, but a little bit more here on the red wire. Yes, clean the tip and let's see if this has good connection. Yeah, it looks pretty, pretty connected and pretty, pretty good. Wow. So now I'll use this uh, PVC tape to um, kind of isolate these junctions here because else we would have the danger that they um, like in the in the shell that they connect and there is a short between them. So um, I'll now do surround them both. And well, it's not the best job ever done, but this will stick. And this will be isolated like forever and now just um, let's um, attach this battery here to the case once more so this is kind of symmetrical so I can put the battery either way let's do it this way around so let's put the battery in here from each side so and let's see if this somehow would go together again go this way probably yeah with some refusal but the other way, I was about the other way, is it better? No, the other way it doesn't work. So that's the only way we can do it, it seems. 
uh, I'll need that part here for the end. Also, yes, throw it away. Hmm, seems to be the hardest part of the whole setup. Okay, this way. And clinches together. And now let's screw the screws in again. Oh, I really make to make, need, need to make that tied up. Well, let's do that. And then here. I'll do that, I'll come back to you. And we are done. The thing is put back again together. And now if I just start it. Yes, it says no known or a damaged part, which is completely true because there is no part in it. So let's try with this resistor. What is this? This is a uh, Four seven zero one, four seven zero one. So four point seven k. It might be. Let's look what what this test device tells us about it. Yes, and there you go. Four thousand eight hundred fifteen ohms. Um. So we successfully managed to upgrade our device here pretty neat so thank you for watching i'll try to load that now with a standard usb loading um thing so you see the time off has hit uh, 20 seconds i think it is per standard and it shows you the display for energy saving and yeah see you in the next video thank you bye